Good evening. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is December 23rd, 2017. Let us read together from Matthew chapter 25. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but rather go to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward the other virgins also came, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Okay, five years ago, on Hanukkah in 2012, I received a call from the Lord to share this prophetic word with the nation. When I was 22 years old, the Lord gave me a prophecy that I would bring a prophetic word to a nation. And 22 years after that, when I was 44, I'm 49 now, Five years ago, when I was 44, the Lord gave me the sign that has given me understanding. The Lord blessed me with the gift of understanding. And it is a, it's a prophetic gifting, and it's a gift of understanding. But there's limits on what the Lord gives me and wants me to understand based on the message that I need to be bringing. Now my message came and my sign came on 12-12-12, midweek Hanukkah, and the sign came at midnight. God gave me a sign and it came at midnight. 4 p.m. in the Yucatan and midnight in Israel. And it was on Hanukkah. Now the the ten virgins shows that there is a midnight call. There's a midnight call that we need to go out and meet him. It's a midnight call. Go out to meet the bridegroom. He's coming. Okay. And after, after this year that we have been to, we are in the, the year of Jubilee, we have seen the Revelation 12 sign, we have seen the eclipse, and we've been past all the blood moons and the comets, and we have come to a, a point where everything is culminating, everything is coming to a head, and uh, we are coming to a point of no return that... God is giving the signs of his return. He is giving us the signs of his return. And what happened this, this year? Now, since October, okay, I have been talking about Hanukkah. The Lord showed me, okay, and I will say clearly and without, uh, you know, I don't need to say I'm sorry for receiving uh, signs and and an understanding based on everything that the Lord had given to me. Okay, everything was leading us to Hanukkah. Everything led us to Hanukkah. There were signs in the heavens. There were uh, 
you know, scriptures, the doors, three doors in scripture that all talk about Hanukkah. John chapter 10 that clearly says Hanukkah uses the word rapture. You know, and then we have all the uh, the signs that happened as we came up upon Hanukkah. And it's, it's Jerusalem. Now it's Jerusalem front and center. And we're right here in the middle of everything. And we're in Hanukkah. And, and this, ver this parable of the ten virgins is about Hanukkah because we have this oil. We have the oil, and this is about Hanukkah. Here we have a call. It's a midnight call, and it's, it's Hanukkah. It's the oil of Hanukkah. But there's another reason, and there's another way we can understand the midnight call. And the midnight call is the, is the, is the winter solstice. The winter solstice. It's the longest night of the year. It's the, it's the midnight of the year. The winter solstice. The other way we can understand it is, is the, the date, 1221. It's 12, and it's a mirror of 12. 1221, just like my sign came at midnight and it was 121212, 12, 12, now we have on the solstice, a, 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 not only the date, okay, it's not just about the date. It's about the sign that came on the date that gives us the understanding and the confirmation that this is the midnight call of the ten virgins. This is the midnight call of his coming that was the vote against Jerusalem on the, on the winter solstice, 1221, this is the midnight call. And so what, what do we have here? We have, okay, as far as, 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 my, uh, as my participation in this, and the, and the call that the Lord has given to me, up until now, up until now, I have absolutely been convinced that based on everything the Lord has given to me, the way he gave me my, my sign in the sun and the power of that sign, and, and the, I've been consumed. I've been consumed by the fire of God to, to share all the signs of his coming. And I have been convinced that God would show me the day and the hour. I have been convinced of that. And then we have all these signs leading us to Hanukkah. And then, and then we have the seventh day of Hanukkah. And there's one more day of Hanukkah. And we have all those other signs that connect in numbers of days. And all the things that are connecting us to the last day of Hanukkah. This, this call and this moment was huge. That this is the time of his coming. This Jesus is coming now. And so what do, what do we have? We have a call here within the ten virgins. It's, a, it's a, a, a call at midnight. It's a call with oil. And then it says that there is a delay. They got up. They went out to, 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 to prepare. They trimmed their lamps, their lamps, and there was a delay. But what does this bring me to personally? What does this bring me to? To me, this brings me to a point where we have a, a, a warning, a final warning, a midnight cry warning, where I can't say when I think that final trumpet will sound. I don't know if we are looking at Christmas or New Year's or if we're going to go uh, into January or into February, I cannot say. With this, I know that we have the prophecies of the Jubilee. I know we have uh, the, the feeling that, that, that Christmas is the time or before the end of the year. And, and we've got all these markers that we have set up and that we are watching. But at the same time, the prophecy of the Jubilee is, is being fulfilled because we have, we have this, this midnight call and this, and this, and this passage gives us a, a, a time of, of when this call will come. And so we have this passage that gives us 
a time frame. The call is going to come at midnight. You have a midnight call. Okay, now, if you guys want to study, I don't. I did not want to get into a, a study right now of, you know, doing all the searching on the solstice and midnight and all that, but you guys can look up for yourselves if you want confirmation on, on the, the, the connection between midnight and the solstice. The other thing is about the, the numbers, the 1221. Now, here's an interesting, here's an interesting um, thing that someone sent to me. It was Number one, you've got the 12, and then you've got the mirror of 12. So that's a 12-12 within the date. But then if you go, you know, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus 1 is 3, and that's a 33. Plus you have uh, 12 plus 21 is 33. And then if you use that as the date, 12... 21 17 as the date 12 21 17 and because the 12 21 equals 33 if you go 33 17 33 17 is the number for midnight the number for midnight in i think that's in the greek okay if not in the hebrew i'll leave the link for you I'll search that out and leave the link for you. But the number for midnight is 3317 in confirmation in the Strongs. Okay, so what did, we, what did we see, guys? We saw all the signs leading us to Hanukkah. We saw signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars. We saw Jupiter leave a Virgo on the end of Tabernacles, entering Libra, which is judgment on the last day of Hanukkah. Some see it uh, more towards Christmas, which is fine, but I don't think it's, it's marking a day, right? I, I think that we have our signs that are marking something that is going to be coming, but not necessarily the day. Now, and then we have, and then we have the Sun and Saturn in conjunction, and that also is, was yesterday and today or the 21st and the 22nd sun and saturn in conjunction in front of venus all of that right there in front of uh ophiuchus ophiuchus i don't know how you say that i can't remember and 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 the, you know that represents michael who's casting out the serpent casting out the dragon right there and so all these signs that you know we we see the signs on the day the dragon sign was the 17th a sign came that Barack Obama interview showed us the 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 I am I am uh, the the Invictus games I am soul Invictus and and then you know, that's a sign. I can tell you that is a sign that the Lord has shown me. I, I saw the dragon sign, how that all lined up with the logo of, of, of Barack Obama. And I knew that something would happen on the 17th. I knew that something would happen with Barack Obama on, seven, on the 17th. It just so happened that that interview came out on the 17th. So that's a sign in and of itself. But there should be no doubt in anybody's mind that the vote at the United Nations with 128 countries voting against Jerusalem is the prophetic fulfillment of Luke 21:20 when you see Jerusalem surrounded by her enemies okay you Jerusalem is surrounded the world has turned on Jerusalem. This is a clear sign, okay? The, the, the signs are here. This is the midnight cry. So what does this uh, bring me to? It brings me to understand that this is the fulfillment of the call that the Lord has given to me. Not that I'm done, because I will continue to share scriptural messages on preparing for what is coming ahead but okay and I don't think that there's any reason 
to be continually talking about more dates. Now, I have shared clearly with you guys, leading up to Hanukkah, there was a reason why we needed to focus. Number one, it's a scriptural feast day written in the Word of God. Number two, we have all these signs that are leading us and, and pointing us to this time frame. And it's because it's a feast day and we've got the signs leading us. It's a time frame. We need to watch. It's a, Hanukkah it has a date. There's a date on it. Okay. But if we've come to that place that is the midnight cry, then what we have then is this, this midnight cry is the cry for peace and safety. It is the cry and the understanding that Jerusalem is surrounded by her enemies. And now we have a sudden destruction event. And we're not going to know exactly when that is going to come. Okay? We're not going to know exactly when that was going to come. Now, up until now, I needed to focus on the date of Hanukkah. Because since October, that's what the Lord was showing me. Okay? But right now we have come to... The midnight cry. Okay. Now, what does this say? It says the midnight cry comes, but the bridegroom was delayed, and they all slumbered and slept. At midnight, the cry was heard. The, the, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. And so what, what we have then is we have this cry and now people are, are trying to get ready and to, to get prepared. And, and here's, the, here's this midnight cry. The bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. They rose to trim their lamps and, and they had enough time to go out to buy, to, to, to buy oil. But they didn't have enough time to get there to buy oil to make it back. The, the bridegroom had come. So what we have here is we have a final warning that we do not know if it's one day or one week or one month or 10 days or we don't know. Okay, I would love to say we are definitely going to be out of here before the end of the year. I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen over Christmas. I don't know what's going to happen at New Year. I don't know. What I, what I know is what has come on Hanukkah and we were focusing on Hanukkah and the greatest signs all came up on Hanukkah building up to Hanukkah and at the last day or the seventh day of Hanukkah we had the sign I mean that is the sign or a sign or a major sign one of the greatest signs of his coming. Jerusalem is surrounded by her enemies. That is clearly written in the word of God. Okay, so we've come to this point. Now we need to stay ready. We need to continue watching. We need to continue understanding. That, that time, it should not catch us unawares. We should not sink back into our daily life thinking we can just go on living the way we've always lived. We need to live every day as if it were our last. We need to keep uh, short accounts with God and with man. We need to keep our lives pure and ready and, and, and holy for his coming. And we, we need to live. Just as Matthew chapter 25 says, uh, using our talents for the glory of God. Using our talents. When he comes, he will judge us on our talents. Did we use our talents? Here in the parable of the ten virgins, it's those who had oil in their lamps. Those who used their talents will get rewarded. Those who did not will get punished. Okay. So, this is what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. And after I... After I um, did my message earlier today, I got to talking with my wife and, and I got to um, 
thinking and the understanding of how strong this call was leading us to the last day of Hanukkah, the midnight cry, the winter solstice, the, the surprise emergency meeting at the United Nations, and it was absolutely a call that Jesus Christ is at the door. Jesus is at the door. And this is what this passage says. Jesus in John chapter 10 said, I am the door. He spoke that on the Feast of Dedication. And now here in verse 10, 25, 10, while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding and the door was shut. Okay. That door is going to be shut very, very soon. We don't know the day or the hour. But the door is going to be shut very soon. That moment of sudden destruction is going to be coming. We have reached this point. It is clearly Jesus is at the door. Okay. I received my call on Hanukkah. The scripture shows us many, many clues about Hanukkah. And I, we were led to Hanukkah as the sign of his coming. The sign of his coming came on Hanukkah. Jerusalem is surrounded by her enemies. Now we stay ready. We stay ready. Okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. I pray you are blessed. I pray that we can receive the warnings that the Lord is giving. We can, we can uh, understand the time that we are living in. We can understand the urgency of the moment. This is such an urgent time to be involved in, in the Lord's work, to be faithful, to be diligent, to be doing what he has called us to do, to be uh, laboring in the job or in the, the calling that he has given to us. When he comes, that we should be found doing what he has called us to do. To be faithful. To be disciplined. To be sober. To be living uprightly in the way that the Lord has called us to live. So many, many things to, to continue to consider. One more day, the shortening of the days. The shortening of the days. Okay. Those days will be shortened. This has come through many, many delays that have come. There have been many delays. We have been waiting for a long time. There have been many signs that we thought that were pointing us to the timing of his return. There, there have been delays. September was a huge marker for many. There was a delay. From Tabernacles to Hanukkah, another delay. And now we've gone past Hanukkah. We, we, there's no guarantee how long remains. We must remain vigilant. And we don't know a number of days. We don't know. So, I pray you guys are blessed tonight. And uh, love you guys in the name of Jesus. Amen.